Hello, Cancer. Welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out if you like the video. It really does help my channel, but it also helps other Cancerians to see the video and get the messages that they need to get because it circulates the video. I want to remind everyone it is a general reading. It's definitely not going to resonate for all of you, but some of you, it's going to completely resonate for you. Those of you that it doesn't, please take what does resonate. That is your messages and leave the rest behind. Okay, all the decks are listed below. If there's an extended, the link will be down below in my description box. Click on the title, that'll drop down the description box. We are doing a reading today for Cancer that is finding out what's destined for you over the next four weeks. Okay, so we're going to do things a little bit different. Over here, we've got three cards that are going to be kind of your overall energy around this spread. And then we're going to lay out four cards here that are going to tell you what's destined in the next four weeks. The second card will be what you have to surrender to in the next four weeks. And the third and the fourth cards are going to be spirits, guidance and help over the next four weeks. So your first card up is the motivation manifesto. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, angels. This is your first card up. These are cards that I bought secondhand and I liked what they said on them. So I shuffled them and whatever flew out is yours. This one says, do something today, which the world may talk of hereafter. Hmm. I feel like you're headed for some big things, Cancer. Okay, now we're on to Motivation Manifesto. And it says, freedom and victory belong to those who remain strong and true despite temptation. Sorry, my stomach's growing again. Be authentic. Remain authentic. Be true to you. Also, moving forward toward your destiny, toward your life's purpose. Stay strong. Don't allow temptation to take you off that path. This is Sacred Traveler, and you have valiant courage. Take action with passion. Follow your passion, Cancer. It, you can't go wrong. Following your passion, whatever feeds your soul, that is the only way to go. Okay, first card out. This is going to be what you're destined for over the next four weeks. And you have, ooh, I can't remember who it was that had this, but one that I just did not too long ago. Gemini, maybe? I'm not positive, but it's blessings. Okay, I'm going to read it to you from the book. Just because there's so much more in the book than what's on the card. It says, Holy Spring. In many ancient cultures, it was believed that there were some springs that were holy. Gods and goddesses were thought to reside in or near these special places, and they were revered. Greek mythology is replete with stories of these special places. Many of the Christian hallowed water sources, such as the Chalice Well, were used for sacred purposes long before Christianity rose to prominence. These kinds of springs were thought to be healing waters where blessings were bestowed by mystical beings. The sacred landscape wants you to know this. Immense blessings are emerging in your life from those in spirit. Angels, guides, and spirit guardians are watching over you. Angelic intervention is available to you. Be open to the voice of the divine. Messages are all around you. You are protected. You are safe. Have faith that your path is guided. Watch for signs that spiritual beings are present. 
profound healing energy is flowing to you in wondrous ways. Refreshing, replenishing energy is filling your life. That, this is one of the, the most beautiful cards in that deck, I believe. And I have to apologize for my stomach. I cannot believe just taking a breath, breathing in and out. It's causing grumbling. I don't know what's going on. Please don't say go and eat because I've eaten. I don't know why I'm... This happens a lot when I do readings. It hasn't been happening lately though, so I wish I knew what it meant because it's usually just for specific videos. Follow your gut. <laughs> Maybe that's the message. I don't know. Oh, that's kind of what that's saying. Oh, this is what you need to surrender to, okay? This is the power of surrender deck. It says surrendering to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. I feel like a lot of you have been trying to carry the, the load on your own. It's time for you to allow. Allow others to give you a hand doing whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, this is Divine Abundance. So if that's all you have to surrender to over the next four weeks is allowing help. And you got blessings coming in. Wow. And apparently you're going to do something that makes you famous. Divine Abundance. I don't know if I told you that. I can't remember. And the card is, this is how spirit is helping you or guiding you. Okay. And you have acceptance. Radical acceptance in the now opens the flow. So this will help you to surrender to the receiving and allow others to help you because when you're in the acceptance mode obviously you're ready to accept right and that opens you up to the flow that opens you up to that flow of the blessings that are coming in it opens you up to not just the flow of of people wanting to support and love you and help you but the flow of the universe everything everything can come to you all your gifts, all your blessings, everything that the universe wants to gift you with can now reach you when you get into that place of acceptance, okay? This is Soul's Journey. Ooh, too many cards. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You've got changes coming in, Cancer. But we kind of already know that because if, if the only change you have coming in is blessings, wow, and allowing others to help you. But I feel like this is more about getting yourself to that place where you are in in the accepting the allowing mode because you have you've manifested all this it's already um it's already a thing it's already real it's just waiting for you to be in the the right energetic frame to accept what's coming in I'm going to get um, a Beyond Lemuria card for you. The fronts of all of these cards have the cutest little pictures on them. And the backs, they're all different too. And the backs all have different messages for us. And your picture, Cancer... Wow, it looks like there's a lot coming into the crown chakra. A lot. Okay, and the back of the card says, The sound of the universe. This card signifies those pivotal moments that transcend belief. 
remind us of a greater reality and influence us so that life will never be the same again. <laughs> Change. It symbolizes the sound of the universe. Having your world shaken up even a little can invite a closer glimpse of the great mystery of life. There are a myriad of ways to peek behind the veil of the, of the mundane. Ecstatic dance, spiritual exploration, and creative pursuits are just a few. Aim to imbue this awareness in your everyday existence so you can avoid the sudden wake-up calls. Listen for the hidden music, harmony, and wonder of your multi-dimensional world. Wow. So, you know, I was made aware of how important it is to be creative in your life a few years back, but I didn't fully understand the whys behind it. And since then, I've come to learn that while you're being creative, that is a form of meditation in and of itself. So if you're not somebody that likes to go lay down or sit in the, you know, the own position and meditate, get creative, draw, paint, um, dance, sing, any of the arts is very creative. And while you're doing it, you are in sort of a meditation mode and that is what's going to allow the guidance, the messages to come in, right? Okay, now I'm going to clarify. What do I want to clarify? Change. Yes, good choice. We are going to clarify with the regular Lightseer's deck. And we're going to clarify change. I want to see what the change is that's coming in for you, Cancer. Ooh, money. Now this can represent being single. So either if you are in a relationship and you already know that it's not doing well, part of your change may be that you become single. Those of you that are single, you are not going to be single for long because this is the card of independence, but it's showing up on the change card. So this is going to change. It can also represent financial independence. Those of you that are struggling financially, you can expect a large sum of money coming your way. That could be, you know, you get a bonus at work. It could be that you get creative, you come up with something, you sell it, it makes a ton of money. It could be an inheritance. It could be a number of things. Maybe somebody owes you a lot of money and they haven't paid it back, but it's coming in. But you've got a large sum of money headed your way. Look at this, page of cups. You're gonna, your life is gonna change in the love department too. Now I want to point out that in this deck, take a look at this, pigs are flying. When pigs fly means it's not possible, right? Well, you're going to see the possible because you're going to change your mind about what is and isn't possible in love because it's coming through. Whatever it is that you didn't think was possible or was going to ever be, guess what? That's coming in. And it's all because of your guides, Six of Swords. This is all about you being literally picked up in the hands of the divine and moved forward to a much better place. And now that is, pay attention that this is, the change card is right underneath that surrender to receiving. Okay, so this is what's coming your way. If you can surrender and get into that receiving mode, this is yours, money love moving on to a better place just period a better place in life and the overall energy or part of the overall energy with these other cards is the bottom of this deck wow the ace of wands follow your passion this is all about that brand new beginning because you follow your passion this is something that's going to feed your soul whatever this is it's going to feed your soul you have so many blessings headed your way cancer so many Get into the receiving mode, accept 
just accept the now because that's going to open up the flow get in the receiving mode accept in the now whatever's taking place and that'll open the floodgates basically is what i'm hearing and your blessings are just going to hit hard wow this is amazing you will have freedom and victory you may even create something or do something that makes you famous even after you're gone but get into a place where you can hear the messages and follow your passion those are the big messages for you okay i hope this resonated i hope it helped i love you guys and i will see you next time